Um, so the cure for it is um, a product called Biocide. Now you're going to go and you're going to find some additives that they call it, uh, they'll call it uh, Biocide uh, fuel treatment. All you want is straight Biocide. Biocide is the product that kills the bugs, but it doesn't do anything else. It doesn't try to take the water out. Um, this is a, um, uh, the smallest ones I can, I can get, and I treat 640 uh, U.S. gallons. Um, but this is uh, actually approved by the uh, uh, FAA, the Federal Aviation People. Um, diesel fuel is very much like jet fuel, and they use this to treat jet fuel as well. When I was working on trucks years ago, and because they turn their fuel over regularly, not only in the tanks in the ground at the truck shops uh, or stops, and the, the fuel that's in, the, in, I never even heard of it. Uh, but in agricultural use um, and off-road use where uh, stuff might sit uh, for months on end, uh, that's when it, it, it happens. If you've bought the boat and you don't know the history, there's going to be water in that tank, okay? Uh, and you, ha you have to filter the water out but treat it for the bugs. And, it, and it's, it's minimal cost and it, uh, you can't hurt the fuel by treating it, but you're better off to do it. You see a lot of boats that come up from down south that have uh, uh, bad fuel. Uh, a lot of people are buying boats that came up from, from down south. Uh, your Morgan 41 might be uh, the perfect example. Um, uh, lots of fuel and it doesn't get turned over regularly. Yeah. Biocide is, it, it Bio is the active ingredient. That's called Biobore is the product name. Yeah, yeah. You're putting an, uh, an ounce in uh, for, uh, what, uh, what's it say, an ounce for 40 gallons or something like that. Um, it's, it's not very much at all. So sure. that's a loading dose, uh, just a, a regular dosage. Um, and then we do what you call a shock dose, okay? So you, you basically double the, double the amount. There's two schools of thought on that, and, and that is a source for condensation. If you don't fill the tank completely up, the exposed surfaces are, are condensing, and, and it's room, there's room inside the tank for uh, um, warm, moist air to be drawn in the, the, the fuel tank vent, and then it condenses and runs down and it gets into your tank. Uh, so you can fill your tank up in the fall and hopefully prevent that. Uh, trouble is, a lot of people, how do you know when your tank is full? Most people, even the gauge is not going to tell you that it's right up there. And the last thing you want to do is up into the fill neck. One way or another, you've got to get the water out anyways. So best, rather than uh, fill, it, fill the tank completely, completely full or over full, um, you just get the best fuel filters possible and change them regularly, and we're, we're going to get to that. Um, uh, treat the fuel in the fall, because that's when the bugs grow, is, is when, when it's uh, dark and, and, and um, uh, still. Uh, not necessarily in the cold weather, but uh, you know the spring and the fall when things start warming up. Yeah. Just treat, the, treat it with biocide for the winter, and use your fuel up regularly, and filter it properly.